Booting the boot in Atlanta. City Council members took a closer look at a proposed anti-booting ordinance this afternoon. Yeah, that ordinance would ban booting in the city's private parking lots. Now, as you can imagine, many drivers like the idea, but some business owners and some booters do not. Fox 5's Morse Diggs spent the afternoon in a council meeting and joins us now live with the details. Morse? Well, you know, at first glance, you're going to look around and say, well, nobody wants booting, right? All the residents will be against it. But digging down a little bit deeper, this is quite different than the old Park Atlanta War. Remember that one? I'll tell you why. That's because there are thousands of people in the city of Atlanta right now who are living in these modern complexes, and those complexes are monitored by booting companies. That means that individual who's living there wants his own parking space protected. The clamp, the boot, the wheel iron, no matter what you call it, the feeling is going to be the same when you come out and realize your vehicle is immobilized. Austin Gates is a Midtown resident. I was headed back to work. I was on my lunch break. I, I, I parked my vehicle. I ran up, took something, uh, office supplies into my house and right. then was coming back down to get back to a meeting. Uh, it, needless to say, I missed that meeting. I was there for about two hours waiting for them to get that boot resolved. But not every resident attending the city hall meeting comes down on the same side. An in-town resident told council members booting protects parking that is reserved for him at his complex. And it has helped me have peace of mind as I often come home late evenings after work knowing that I'll have a parking spot. It helps me know that my wife, if she happens to come home late at night, she'll have a parking spot and she won't have to sit in that parking lot waiting for her spot to open with people that she doesn't know. Owners backed up by dozens of property managers explain they provide a service and motorists who don't try to skate don't get the clamp. The people that aren't here are all the people that park correctly, that come in and out tens of thousands on a daily basis, that follow the rules. And I was uh, illegally booted in one of the uh, one of the parking lots and the booter that came in and, and I had conversation with uh, was extremely aggressive. He was extremely argumentative with me. Once he found out that I was a law enforcement officer, he was cleanly quick to get the boot off of my vehicle. So I just think that there's other things that are going. If you people are choosing to hold this, that you might want to have a little bit of different law enforcement input. Personally, I think $75 is too low. Maybe in the first hour, give him 75. After that, make it two grand. Make it a deterrent. <laughs> I'm serious. Whoa, no, not, not $2,000. I don't think there's any worry at all that the council will ever get to that. But uh, they did take uh, Ken Allen there, the law enforcement officer, the reserve officer now for APD, took his and some others' advice, and they sent this back to the Public Safety Committee to massage the bill a little bit more because I talked to one council member. He says he's heard from perhaps 100 residents who are protected. Their parking space, their reserve spot, which, of course, they pay for monthly, is, is monitored by a booter. So they got to be very careful about how they deal with this. So it'll be open for some more discussion. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right. Thanks so much, Morse.